Hi everyone, it's Kelly and I have a project that I want to share and this is for the challenge over at the Prima Typepad blog. It's for the build a uh, build a page sketch challenge. That's it. And they have the challenge layout on there and you have to uh, replicate it somehow. So I have a ton ton of products on here that I'm going to share. And first of all, I used a ton of Glimmer Mist. I used the Lindy's Frostbitten Fuchsia, the Peony Scarlet Red, I used Clam Bake Beige, I used the Golden Lump of Coal, and I used the Sea uh, Saltwater Taffy. So these are all the Lindy's that I used right here, okay, and then I also used a few of my own. I have a brown and a yellow that I mix that's my own, and then I used the Glimmer Glaze from Tattered Angels, and this is the color here, and this is called Pink Lady, and it looks like this, and that I got from to creativechicks.com design team long time ago and I'm still using it like I use this a lot and there's like so much left in there and look at all that on the bottom like I think I could add water to this and it would still be like really concentrated so then I also used the white acrylic paint and I used my Mickey Mouse head punch and I was going to use a mask, but I decided I was going to try something different. Instead of masking, I used the Mickey Head Punch. And then I used two of these little round doilies. And some of the other products that I used, the whole layout, the pink and the, the yellow. It's a picture of my daughter with Aurora, who is Sleeping Beauty, and the pink and the yellow go together. So I immediately thought of the uh, romance novel collection. So that's the uh, ones that I used. And I used, let me see if I can find it here. I used this paper, if you can see, down here in the corner. And I actually fussy cut that out. So I used that. And then I actually glimmer misted one of these doilies. And I put the doily over top. Okay, and then up in the top corner up here, I fussy cut, let me see here, one of the papers, oh wait, no, that was um, one of the note cards. Okay, so the other paper that I used was, I don't think I have it anymore in here, must have been the last one. Um, the other paper that I used was the the polka dot, and it's right here, and I, I matted this on black, and then I put the paper behind that. But the other one was from the notes. I used the um, romance novel um, note card set, and what I did was, let me find it here, it was this one. And I fussy cut the circle out of here and I adhered it up at the top. And I also put another doily up at the top. And then I actually adhered, I don't know if you can see, I actually adhered a little sticker of Aurora with a little tiny bird. It's going to get all, whoa, too much white. Okay. And then I adhered the little bird here. So I did that up at the top. Sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to film at night. The colors get kind of wonky. So, those are the papers that I used. And then I also used something new that I got. And this was from Hobby Lobby. And it's the Resist Canvases. This is the So Happy Collection. And the Resist Canvases that I used, the one over here is actually covered, so you can't see it. The one over here is almost completely covered. It's right here. The one that is not covered is the 
little sign here. It's right here. And it's the one that has the Sleeping Beauty um, title on it. And it's oh, it's hard to see. My camera doesn't do very good close up. But the resist canvas is right over here. And I thought it worked out really well to make it look like it was just like a little sign over here. And then I could put the Sleeping Beauty on top of it and make it look sort of whimsical. So that's how I did that. And what I did was I fussy cut the images out of the romance novel paper. I adhered it to the corner here and to the corner over here. I went around the outside with my black coal glimmer mist because I wanted the outside edges of the paper to be dark. And then I adhered down the Mickey heads and then I layered all the elements as far as like the little circle and the sticker of Aurora with the bird and the doilies and then I wanted to go in and I laid my mat and then this was just some trim that I pulled off of a rosette trim that I I ripped apart and separated and I'll show you here what I actually did I took the rosettes and I made leaves out of them like here's a leaf and then down here I cut it apart and made two leaves so since I ripped it um, this is the other edge that I stuck down there so that's how I did that and the other elements were flowers I used some of these these are the craftable flowers and I glimmer misted those these are some of the trellis roses and what I actually did, these were way too big. So if you notice here what the inside of these look like, I actually tore the outer leaves off. And I used the smaller roses right here, here, um, down here. I used a couple of the Pearl Bebe Doodle Doo. And these were right here. The red and the um, dark, like black color. And then I used some of the Firefly Cedar, and they look like this. And I actually took and I glimmer misted one in a uh, dark yellow, and then one up here, and I glimmer misted that in red, and then up here there's a dark one in black, or sort of a black color. I cut out the beautiful up here from the paper collection, and then I also took and layered a flower down here and added a flatback pearl. So that's my layout. That's what I created for the Prima Challenge, and I'll have pictures on my blog. Hope you like it, and have a great day. Um, I'll also have pictures on my Facebook. Thanks, everyone. Bye.